women have been historically very excluded specifically from football and I think I'd never really questioned that so much as I had in the last few years and wondered why you know I played football when I was at primary school up until age 11 and then never again and I never really wondered why that was and I think this this film and parts in the air hopefully other conversations around that start to explore that a bit. 1971, Mexico City. A tournament of unprecedented scale, hidden for over 50 years. Copa 71 is the story of an unofficial Women's Football World Cup that was hosted in 1971 in Mexico and involved six teams internationally. It's a story that really got under the skin of a lot of the football establishment proving that women would, were able to play on this scale. And it was very actively crushed by the establishment at the time. What's a nice girl like you doing playing football though? FIFA. They don't like anything about it. There is a lot of resistance. No, I think Soleil Chlon is a good gag. It is a surprise that nobody had talked about it. The silence, the amerta, you know, that this is not to be talked about. And the fact that it wasn't it wasn't talked about by the participants, you know, they were brought home and they were shamed and humiliated. I think that's part of what the film's about, is about the impact of shame and, and controlling systems in, in a society. We put this whole experience together, not just for one group of women from one country, but all the participants together, they get to see what the other teams are doing. They get to look inside the other dressing rooms and that was denied to them. I mean, the England team had never, ever seen themselves play football. You know, they didn't see the broadcast at the time. You know, they were on the pitch. So if it went for them seeing it when they saw it at London Film Festival premiere, it was literally the first time they'd seen themselves kick a ball on, on film. I mean, it's extraordinary, let alone in the Azteca Stadium. We paved the way for what it's become today. <laughs> it was important for women to see that this was possible. It's important to remember that these women are really quite traumatized from 50 years of not telling their story and to have, you know, a random English woman call you up and say, well, you know, what I'm going to do is make a film about this and we've got this team of people together and we really want to tell this story. I, you know, it took a long time to convince them. It was such a privilege and they're also so excited. Something that's so nice about the film coming out in cinemas and people getting to see it is that we're able to share with those women that this is happening. You know, when you're in the process of doing this, you can never make promises and you can't say it's even going to go anywhere. So to let them know, okay, yeah, you, you know, you you can go and see it with your with your grandkids or your neighbours can go and see it and you can do this. And and the story really is out there. And to, for them to feel represented all by each other is is great as well. Often when people talk about, about, about women's football, they say, oh, it's not as good as the men's or like this. But I defy you to watch this film and not see that 50 years ago, Women were playing with all the guts and all the glory and skill, and you know it was it was a spectacle and a wonderful thing for 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 the audience to engage in, let alone for the for the women to play in. And that thrill, you know, hopefully sizzles through the film, but should be what we're going out looking for every weekend. It's up to us to make sure that history is right. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.